everybody, it's me, Jessie with Pampered Chef, bringing you all things fun and foodie from right here in my kitchen. Tonight, I wanted to try something new with you. Uh, one of my very dear friends, Tracy, posted this idea using the donut pan a couple of days ago. And today, I'm just kind of in the mood to like play around in the kitchen, so I thought, I'm gonna give it a shot. So, what we are going to be making are onion cheese chicken donuts in the donut pan and they're like so so easy so um i have a donut pan here i didn't spray it with anything i did a little tester batch i'm going to show you the finished ones uh here so that's why it's got some stuff in here uh they're really good <laughs> so i'm just using this mexican shredded cheese blend you could use anything i think this could be so so fun to do like mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese with sun-dried tomatoes or like pepper jack cheese and chicken and bacon and maybe do it like dipped in guacamole i don't know but the possibilities are endless with this so all i'm doing is sprinkling about a tablespoon of this cheese into the bottom of the donut pan or into the donut pan just a little now you could make these thicker they would take a little longer to cook it's just the two of us, so I'm just gonna make them a little smaller so we have more and they're not going to be as thick. And I also don't have a ton of cheese, so we're just gonna make this work with what I have. Now, the original recipe is an onion that is thinly sliced and it is just put into the donut pan, like this. In the little, the little rings go around the little donut hole, like that, right? So I'm going to do that. I need to slice a little bit more onion. Keep your fingers tucked in, right guys? Don't wanna lose a finger. So I'm gonna add a little bit of onion to every one of these. And then the original recipe was bacon and chicken. And I don't, I don't have any bacon and I don't eat bacon. <laughs> and I don't have a ton of chicken but I have jalapenos and I have dill pickles and both of those are fantastic with cheese. So we're gonna mix it up and play. So I have this little tiny bit of chicken. I'm just gonna give it a rough chop and you could just do bacon. You could probably do leftover turkey. Heck, this could be like a leftovers recipe for like Thanksgiving. Totally gonna try that, right? Cheese donuts with leftover turkey, why not? All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of chicken into, I'm gonna do like six of these with chicken, I think. Well, seven, seven of these with chicken. Then I don't have any jalapenos in the garden yet, so we have some frozen leftover jalapenos from last year. Just gonna give them a rough chop. I like to keep sliced and halved jalapenos in the freezer until my fresh ones are ready. You just never know when you need a jalapeno, right? All right, so I'm gonna do a couple of, let's do three jalapeno ones. Why not? Since that's the rest of my slice ones. And, oh wait, I have a little bit more jalapeno. I had a little more. So let's do four. And then just to try it, because I only have one of my very most favorite garlic dill pickles left over. Just gonna do one dill pickle. These are garlic dill pickles from the pickle people at the Cape Coral Farmer's Market. And if you live here in Southwest Florida, you need to go find them and buy all of their pickles because they have the best pickles and pickled green tomatoes and olives and just all the delicious pickly things. And these pickles are my absolute favorite and I don't think I'll get to go to the farmer's market until next weekend, so I need to save that pickle. All right, so we have four jalapeno and onion and cheese, we have a dill pickle, and we have chicken and onion. Then we're just gonna sprinkle them with some ranch powder. Any ranch powder will do. Just doing a little bit, maybe like eighth of a teaspoon here, keeping it real simple. Just a little on the top of every one. And then we top them with more cheese. Why not, right? 
I'm just gonna use up this little bit of cheese that I have in this package. Now you could totally shred your own cheese and normally I do, but it's been a rough couple weeks, so I had some pretty shredded stuff. And from time to time, that will just have to work. All right, that's the rest of the cheese. So I'm just gonna separate it out so it's not all piled up in the center. Now look, wouldn't this be fun for like a party or like game food? I could totally see this for football season. And then you just pop this in the oven. I have it set for 375 degrees and I'm gonna put them in there for 15 to 20 minutes. And when they're done, look how stinking cute these are. I did not flip them over or anything. I just let them cook. This is just a chicken and uh, um, chicken, ranch powder, cheddar cheese, and an onion. Little donuts. It's like Frico. Uh, Frico is like the crunchy Parmesan cheese that you sometimes get like on a Caesar salad. I love making Frico. But this is like cheddar Frico. So good, right? And I thought for a dipping sauce, you could totally use ranch dressing or I like spicy. So I'm gonna do some sour cream. And this is a low fat sour cream, but you can use any sour cream that you want. I'm just gonna do a couple tablespoons of that. If I have extra leftover, this sauce is actually fantastic on tacos, which we will have tomorrow night. I'm gonna do a tablespoon, approximately, of chipotle seasoning. The caps of these are one tablespoon, by the way. I'm gonna stir that up. And then to make it a little thinner, I'm gonna add a little milk. I don't want it like super thick. And I probably should have got a bigger bowl, but it will come together eventually. I just thought this was so much fun and like so easy to make and another fun use for the donut pan. Let me know if you think of any other ways, like combinations you can come up with. Like I was totally thinking like pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, mozzarella and Parmesan. You could dip them in pesto sauce. I really like the idea of the jalapeno popper one. Dip that in some ranch. So here we go. Got our nice chipotle rub or chipotle sauce. And let's try it officially dipped. Totally delicious, totally fun. I'm so glad Tracy posted this. <laughs> so anyway, share your uh, combinations below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put hashtag replay. Reach out with any questions you may have. Thanks, Tracy, for the great recipe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.